Alright guys, another turtle figure review here from the great 1980s line, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, The Rat King. The Red King, at least in the animated series, was my favorite character. I don't know why I gravitated towards the Red King, but I did. And I even gravitated towards the action figure as one as probably my favorite of the Turtle Figs. Uh, the Red King, I'm going to say right off the bat, did come with a few accessories that I do not have. He came with a rat crossbow, which was a what which was a crossbow with a rat on it, and he would it would could shoot the rat. Not literally, it didn't have an activation thing, but that was the appearance. He also had a rat grappling hook, where the grappling hook pieces were rats, and it had a tied string to it, so you can actually uh, swing it around and throw it. And uh, he also come came with this belt. I don't know if it would be a utility belt or not, but yeah. So, but that is the one accessory I guess I do have, and it is removable. Um, it just comes right off, and I'll show you that in a little bit here. Now, I think one of the reasons the Rat King was my favorite figure is because of all the little details in this figure. This figure is amazing. Um, next to the Muckman figure, which I don't have, uh, this probably has some of the best detailing on it, uh, both painted and unpainted. So let's go ahead and go over... Um, the sculpt and the paint and the details and everything and the articulation. Okay, so first off, let's go ahead and go to the articulation real quick. Standard uh, Ninja Turtle articulation. Head moves from left to right. Arms move up and down. Um, this wrist does not bend or move or anything. Uh, I believe that's because this wrist was originally supposed to uh, hold um, the grappling hook, I guess. I don't know, maybe because it's the rad in the way. This arm is the same. They're, the only articulation are is the movements of up and down. Uh, the legs, however, they also go forward and backwards. They go out. They're on a ball joint. Um, no, and unlike some of the other figures, this one, though, does twist at the waist. So that's kind of cool. Uh, he does uh, feature the uh, belt, which is removable. And this is where we're going to go start over the details here. Because look on the belt here. The belt itself is a rattlesnake. Uh, you can see the snake head here. goes all the way around to the rattle. Uh, he's got cheese. He's got a mice trap. He's got more cheese. He's got a little dagger there. More cheese. And a dead cat with tire treads. <laughs> So that's kind of cool. I'm going to put that aside for now. Alright, so the overall figure here, the sculpt, like I said, is really, really cool. And again, his appearance, I want to say, is not really so much based face-wise on his animated form. Um, it's kind of like they did their own thing. But the overall like costume kind of is from the uh, animated series. Um, so not too bad. we got the green wraps, the brown... Um, mucky or stitched up outfit here with the green pants the white wraps um scarred knee uh with the hole there so i mentioned the details here so you'll notice right off the bat you'll see um the mice all there's, there's mice everywhere he's the rat king so there's gonna be mice he's gonna be a mouse on his shoulder which i believe uh, is glued to his shoulder i've seen pictures where it has been uh removed so i think it's that one just glued there uh, but you also have a little centipede here because you know the rat king lives in the sewer So we're gonna have a little sewer things here. Uh, we have bones here uh, Like I said if you look closely his outfits stitched up. We have little spiders here um, Move to the back. 
Yeah, for some reason, I got an unpainted mouse here. Yeah, I painted mice everywhere except for his back. Or maybe the wraps are covering him up and he's the lump. I don't know. But we do have more unpainted wraps here. Uh, go over here. Now we can, Now this is something else. That's where we have a painted spider here. If you go over here, we have another spider unpainted. So that's, again, odd. Uh, and then we go down here. We have a painted spider. We have a painted spider. We have a painted spider. Um, with more stitching. So yeah, again, very weird uh, options to paint some some things and not other things. Like why wasn't the centipede um, paint not painted? You know, it's just weird. He's got these really weird crazed red eyes. Oh, and then I, and I, something I think I don't think I ever noticed before, but I'd get another spider right on his head. Um, He's got ripped spots here on his head, where his hair would, you know, where his hair's at. So, I mean, great detailing overall, though. Uh, may not be painted, but overall the detail on this guy is great. And like I said, he does have, I do have the removable belt. Um, I don't remember if this was a pain to put on or not, to be honest. Uh, <laughs> I think that might have been a reason why I wasn't wanting to take it off. Um... Oh, there we go. It just fits right on. So there we go. All right. It stayed on. Way to go. So let's see if I can get him to stand back up now. Perfect. So, all right, folks. There we go. The uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Rat King uh, from Playmates. Uh, this guy I got off of eBay. I think he was a fairly cheap one. Uh, I think he was a... Um, I don't remember. But you can get him online. Fairly cheap. Uh, he, it's really hard to find him complete at a reasonable price, though. You can usually get him pretty cheap uh, without the accessories, but with the accessories, I think because they're so hard to find complete and not broke, uh, they're kind of pricey. So, But good luck finding them. I hope you enjoy it, and thanks for tuning in. Hey guys, if you like this video, make sure you smash that subscribe button and click on the little bell to receive notifications on all our upcoming videos. Hit the like button, make sure and leave us a comment so we know how you felt about this video. And don't forget to share with your family and friends. Until next time, I'm Shannon for Comagin, where all geek culture collides.